In the next iPhone, we'll be 3D touching our moving photos. I'm Bridget Carey, and in this CNET update, I'll cover all the highlights from Apple's news event in under three minutes. There's lots to cover from Apple's latest news conference, so let's first hit the top product, the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. They look similar in design to last year's model, but the big new feature is called 3D Touch. The screen can now tell how hard you're pressing, and it'll respond in different ways to pull up shortcuts or previews of a message. Instead of just a tap, you press deeper to pull up menus or other options. You'll have quite a number of new gesture tricks to learn. There's a new color to the pack. It now comes in rose gold aluminum, which looks like a soft pink. The processors are much faster than the last model, and the camera's got an upgrade. 12 megapixels on the back with a 5 megapixel sensor on the front. There's a new photo feature called Live Photos, and when you snap a photo, it's also recording a second and a half before and after you took the photo, so a photo essentially becomes a very, very short video, a moment in time. The word Live will appear on the screen when that feature's on. Press deep on the photo to see it in motion. The front camera now has a flash. It's actually the whole screen that lights up to become your front flash. The new models are priced the same as always for iPhones. If you have a payment plan, it could be $27 a month or $200 with a new two-year contract. Pre-order it Saturday, September 12th, and it'll arrive in stores Friday, September 25th. Apple's also putting a new spin on the Apple TV streaming box by opening it up to games and apps. Some of the same apps and games from your iPhone and iPad. The new Apple TV comes with a remote with a glass touch surface to swipe and tap to navigate and has a motion sensor, just like a classic Nintendo Wii remote. Use Siri to ask for specific things, like only show me James Bond movies with Sean Connery. Other streaming boxes from Amazon, Google, and Roku, they have voice commands too, and they are less expensive. Apple TV starts at $150 and it'll arrive in late October. And how does Apple hope to get you excited about buying a new iPad? By making it more like a laptop and creating a new keyboard and stylus accessory. The new iPad Pro has a high-end processor chip. The screen is as large as a laptop screen at 12.9 inches. And there are 5.6 million pixels packed into this screen, which is more than the 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. Never before has Apple made a stylus, but behold, now we have the Apple Pencil, which changes thickness of the line depending on how hard you press. There's also a special fabric keyboard cover. Apple is making a big push for this as a workplace tool. It has a 10-hour battery life and it starts at $800. The pencil is $100 and the keyboard is $170. It's all coming out in November. We're out of time for this update, but you can dive in deeper on all the Apple news and the new Apple Watch colors at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.